All right. There you go. Scottish now. Scottish. Scottish. Great. <laughs> Wadi and Tracy will be so proud. I know, right? We're <laughs> practicing, guys. We're coming to see you someday. Once they let us. Yeah, exactly. Even my truck's excited. I know. It always singing. It does that. Every GM does. Mine does too. It only takes like 30 seconds until you forget about it. But we're here at Timmy's on our way into Winnipeg. We have to get this pickup safety today and do the whole purchase buyout thing so that there's not any more payments on it ever. Safety, and I think it's getting a service too, right? Oil change, all that fun stuff? Yeah, I think so. Service I think I asked him to do before that. winter? Her dad works at Chevy, so I just told him to take care of my truck and he's. And I'm bringing him borscht. Yeah. That'll make him happy. Back there somewhere. Forced in buns. Nice. I forgot my mask. I'm gonna wear one of these temporary ones. Where's your mask? Can't wear it in here, it's too hard to breathe in here. You're gonna get sick. Mm -hmm. You gotta wear these to go into the uh, service center. We're early. So, okay, that's enough. I can't wear it anymore. That's <gasps> right, the geese brooks arrived early. That never happens. I can't breathe in these ones. My cloth one, I can breathe a lot easier. I can't breathe in these ones. I hate these temporary ones, but I washed mine at home so it was still drying. And our house is like abnormally humid. It's super, super humid. So we're buying a dehumidifier today. It literally, when I was home for a week last time, it took all week just to hang dry my clothes in the house. And now that it's getting colder outside, the warm air inside the house is meeting the cold air. And we have like water running down our windows inside and our floors are actually wet. You have to wear socks or else your feet just stick to the floor. It's so weird. It's the most humid place I've ever been in in my life. It's, it's like a tropical crazy. paradise, only cold. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll fix that today. But in the meantime, gotta wear this. So, while my truck is in the shop, I get Paul in laws truck to drive around. And the best part, Wait for it. Did you feel that? I felt and heard it. Oh, I felt it in my soul. <laughs> it was so good. Oh. <laughs> Well, we're not in Steinbeck anymore, so we gotta wear these into the stores. So we came here to buy a, a dehumidifier. Well, and first, we, I wanna look at Halloween stuff. We ended up, I was gonna say in the plant section, but apparently we're making our way to the Halloween section. The only reason we ended up in the plant section, I quickly wanted to see if they had a pot that was bigger than Phyllis's pot so that we could change her over. Josh's ficus. <sighs> Christmas, look. We were told that the dehumidifiers were down here. Is this it? What's that? Oh, not the fridges. Those are beer fridges. And those Maybe. are definitely not dehumidifiers. Maybe they used to be here. Let's check the surrounding area. It's gotta be close by. Oh, fancy. Wood grained. Oh, 
For the fancy people. Way fancier than us. Wouldn't mind getting a new toilet though. Our toilet matches our house. It's very small. You find it? This is a bigger one here. Oh, it's this dehumidifier, yeah. 50 pints, it's probably the same as this here. Nice. So this is probably the one. Room does it? This is the one we'd be looking for. It's the biggest one they got here. Moisture level. Go big or go home, that's what I say. We got a lot of humidity in our house. High capacity. I like it. Doesn't it doesn't say what square footage it covers though, and that's what I'm interested in seeing. Steady dry, 24 hour timer, one year limited warranty. Yeah, we need to know how many square feet it covers because we want it to be more than enough to cover our house. And our house is 860 square feet. So I'd like it to be like over a thousand square feet that it can cover. Hmm. Doesn't say. So we got the big one. It's your turn. <laughs> your turn. Oh, she's heavier than she looks. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, you ready for it? I'm you ready, ready for, for it? it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. baby his truck a lot. <laughs> I'm scared to wreck it. Put the seatbelt on all nice and careful. Don't want to scratch anything. See a few specks of dust though. I'm a little bit disappointed. You better tell him because I'm not going to tell him. I'm going to tell him. I brought him borscht. I have the right to tell him that there's dust in this truck. There's actually some dust on there. <sighs> For shame, Father. For shame. He's going to watch this vlog tomorrow. He's so embarrassed. And he's gonna go straight to his truck and He's gonna and wash everything. You're right. <laughs> You're right. There's so, a reason I am the way I am. My mother and father are both clean freaks. So, Paul and Law, I know you're going to your truck to clean it right now. You gotta send us a picture to show us that we were right. I want proof of no dust. No dust. None. So we got the truck back out of the shop here now and we got new tires today. This wasn't planned, but they needed to be replaced. So I figured we'd get it done. What are they, the BF Goodrich? What's it said there, Bojo Champion? I'm not even sure if that's the name of it or not. Same tires my uh, father-in-law has on his truck. I'm pretty sure these will handle winter better than my other ones. I'm putting on Brit's winter tires today at home as well. We're set. Probably can't hear it on the camera, but you can hear the tires humming. Makes me happy. They're really nice. I wasn't expecting on getting tires today, actually. All right, so we got it out. Well, we got it in the house. We got it out of the vehicle. It's on the French side. What are you doing, man? Um, it's for my French followers. I'm trying to be inclusive. The Quebecers. There you go. The English side. There. You're on the cord right now because you're uh, you're charging because you're running out of batteries. Damn. Quick and easy installation. How easy do you think they mean? Is it IKEA easy or is it actually easy? Like just plug in easy. Because so. IKEA, when they say something's easy, it's not easy. Oh, it's wrapped in styrofoam. I'm out. <laughs> she's uh, she's actually legitimately styrofobic. I don't like it. She don't can't like be around styrofoam. It freaks her out like that. She'll actually vomit. Sorry to put that image in your head, but it's a real thing. I have to do all of the unpacking, so that's okay. It should be fun. I'm gonna let you guys charge for a little bit while I get it out of the box. And I'll talk to you after. 
figure I could just leave you on the counter. There you go. See, oh, it's got straps so you can lift it out of here. Okay. Right. What's this? That's the cord. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh, here it comes. Oh, no, went back in. Oh, here it comes. I got it. Oh, it's heavy. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, there it is. She's beautiful. She's freaking out in there. <laughs> You can let the scissors out for me. All right. So did we show you it already? It's a 50 pint, which means it takes it takes 50 pints of water out of the air in a day, right? Yes. But the bowl underneath here that collects the water is only 14 pints. So we're gonna have to empty it more than once a day if it's working at full capacity. Yeah. It's like Christmas time. I love opening stuff. Oh, it comes with instructions. Oh, good. Good, good. Don't need those. Oh, it's on wheels. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Fancy. Fancy. All right. Put that back in there. Okay, the styrofoam is just about done. Okay, we're done with the styrofoam. You can come out now. Hey. All the way out there on the other side of the house. I don't know, it takes quite a while to get from one end to the other. It's at least six steps. Oh, there's styrofoam to start for. I'm gonna yeah. go grab the vacuum. Okay, so we just gotta. I got them on the counter right there. Ouch, it hurt my toe. Hey that wasn't very nice. Okay, so. They wrapped the entire cord in its own little snake bag. Or snake skin, as you call it. Look at this. Why would they do that? Keep off the cord? Just keep it from bending? I don't know. I there's, there's somebody in a factory somewhere on the other side of the world that has to put this on every single one. That's their job. There are worse jobs. Alright, and there it is. So let's take you guys off of there for a bit. And unplug your charging cord, okay? Don't die on me. Don't die on me. Okay, Toshiba. Oh, it's like taped on here so we can't open this. Yeah, let's take that off of there. Nice, just like that. This off of here, just like that. Okay, so this is the... Okay, this is the bowl, I guess. That well, fills that up with really water. small, wow. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. I'll keep on top of it. Oh, it's got a handle too, that's fancy. It's like you're carrying your lunch. It's like a lunch kit. Okay. Moment of truth here. Oh. 84. What does oh, that mean? Blowing out here. Is that 84? I don't know. 87? 87. Wait, is it detecting yeah, what ours is at? I wonder. So you gotta set the humidity where you want the humidity to be, right? Okay. Well, Chef, everybody else, what do you think? It is a lot more comfortable in here right now. So the humidity here, it, that's what it is in the room right now. When we plugged it in, it was literally at 87% humidity in here. So that explains quite a bit. It got down to 50 in just a couple of hours, and it's sort of been holding it there between 47 and 50. We're trying to get it down to about 40. Uh, it'll get there eventually yet, but there's a lot of humidity in here to 
to deal with. <laughs> just all of our windows were just covered in water and moisture. It was crazy. So this should uh, about quite a bit. Like I said, it already feels a lot more comfortable in here. That's why we got it. As for my tires on my pickup, I wasn't planning on getting those today, but uh, I had a flat tire. I had a spike about that long through one of my tires and all the rest of them were on the verge of needing to be repaired soon. So I bit the bullet, I got the tires, uh, threw them on there, at least this way I'm ready for winter and I'd have to replace them soon anyways. And uh, got the truck safetyed. And other than that, it's ready to go. It's our truck now, it's gonna be paid off. It should be paid off today. So we shouldn't have another payment coming out. I don't need it to be super flashy or super lifted. Just leveled, sounding nice, looking slick. Nothing too crazy. That's what I like, just a slick black truck. Anyways, I gotta end this vlog here because I gotta start tomorrow's. Uh, I've got a fence contractor coming here tomorrow, well, tomorrow for you guys. Uh, he's gonna measure out our yard, give us a more accurate quote on our fence. We gotta give the deposit, and then he's gotta tell us how soon he can get it done. Like I said, I'm kind of thinking he's probably gonna say spring, but we're crossing our fingers and really hoping that he can get it done in the next couple of weeks. That would be nice, but he's a busy guy and they got a busy company. He's one of the biggest ones in Winnipeg. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyways, we'll talk more about that tomorrow then. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you later.